Hello everyone, and my name is Kelly, and thank you so much for joining me for another session of Music and Movement. So today we're gonna to talk about wind chimes. So have any of you ever heard a wind chime? Have you ever thought of a wind chime as being a musical instrument? Well, it is a musical instrument, yes actually how it works instead of a person playing most instrument instruments in this case a wind chime the player and the composer is the wind and that's what's creating the sound on a wind chime so wind chimes were created many many years ago um actually in asia is where they evolved from and they are also often referred to as a wind bell as well. So that's just a little bit of history and background about wind chimes. And now we're going to uh, make our very own wind chime, one that you can hang up at your home. So all the materials for the most part should be things that you will have around your house. You may have to adapt it just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and go through what the materials are that you're going to need for this. So first of all, you're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need multiple colors of markers. I'm using Sharpies because they're permanent and it seems to work best. You're going to need some fishing line or you could use some twine or string. Whatever you have on hand is fine. And then you're going to need some CDs. Now the CDs that I have chosen are what they call vinyl CDs. So on one side, it looks like an old fashioned record. And then on the other side, it's the clear sparkly side of the CD. All right. And the last thing that you will be needing is going to be a hanger. So just a regular clothes hanger, a metal one that you may have at your house, okay? And so let me show you an example of what we're going to do. So I think I have one, two, three, four. I have like about six CDs that I'm using for mine. Um, you can adjust it if you want more. So the sound is going to come from when the CDs are hanging on the hanger. And when the wind blows them, it's going to clank together and make a sound. So I have this one that I decorated earlier using my Sharpie markers. The other side is just the plain black vinyl. So with this one, I used a ruler and I drew lines and then I colored the spaces in. I made another one that has my name on it. So I spelled out K-E-L-L-Y. And then I also have one that I made with some flowers on it. My next one has polka dots. Just pretty circles all over different colors. And then the last one is another one similar to the first one, but I did something a little different as far as I outlined each space with black, which really makes the color pop a little more. So it's super fun to color those in. That's why you wanna use a, a Sharpie or a permanent marker so that it'll stay on. So I started hanging one of mine onto the coat hanger. So basically all you do is you cut string that is different lengths because you don't want them all to be the exact same length. You want them to be different and we'll put these on to the hanger. All right, so once you have all of the CDs put on string and knotted onto your hanger, you will have your final project. And here is my wind chime. So you can hear the sound that it's making and depending on the breeze that you have, 
It may sound really loud or it may sound really quiet, okay? So I hope you enjoy making this and find a nice spot where you know the breeze is really good when there's a wind come through. And I hope you enjoy your wind chime. And don't forget to sign up for our summer learning challenge. So you, you can register online on our website. And the video today, you can actually earn a batch for watching this today. So I encourage you to get your batch for this. And um, make sure you tune in and watch another session of Music and Movement next Tuesday at 10, starting at 10 a.m. But they can be viewed anytime on the MyBCPL uh, YouTube channel or on our Facebook page as well. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.